Let's talk about the brainstem reflexes. Brainstem reflexes, or what's called tonic reflexes, if you found the word tonic or the word reactions, you can consider it as a brainstem reflexes. Brainstem reflexes disappears at the age of four up to six months, except the positive supporting reaction starts at three months and disappear or at uh, eight months. If we would like to talk about the tonic reflexes, we have two, two neck reflexes and two tonic reflexes. The two neck reflexes, asymmetrical tonic neck reflex, symmetrical tonic neck reflex. And the other two tonic reflexes are tonic labyrinthine supine and tonic labyrinthine brawn. Let's first talk about the asymmetrical tonic neck reflex. To test this reflex, put the infant head at your side, like so, and grip his head on his sides. This is the starting position, supine like position, and grip his head on his side. Avoid touching his ears as this may irritate him and also avoid pressing over his fontanelles. So just grip his head at sides. Then turn his head to one side. Okay? Turning his head to one side will change the tone all over his extremities. The extensor tone will dominate at the face side. So, uh, the response will be extension of his upper limb and lower limb of his face side and the flexor tone will dominate at the occipital, occipital side. So, this size will be in the form of flexion. Okay? To not forget this response, imagine like uh, someone throw an arrow when he throw an arrow, uh, the face side is the extended limb and the occipital side is the flexed limb. Okay, what's the importance of this reflex? This reflex, uh, there's some explanations about its importance. This reflex is a, a precursor uh, of uh, eye-hand coordination. Eye-hand coordination simply if you'd like to get something by your hand, you have to look at it firstly and look at your hand gripping this object. So, if you'd like to grab an object, just look at this object and extend uh, your limbs towards it. This is simply uh, a preparation for this function. Also, asymmetrical tonic neck reflex considered a preparation for reaching. Okay, it just reflects, but Later in life, when you'd like to reach something by your hand, just to look at it and extend your hand toward this object. But the persistence of this reflex may interfere with some function. Firstly, feeding. When an infant wants to take a food and put it in his mouth, if this reflex is still released or still present, that may hinder this function. Okay, as just looking at the foot and grip the foot, he can't flex his arm toward his mouth as the extensor tone increased toward the face side. Okay? Also, the by manual hand use. If the infant grips something or holds something by manually by his hands, just if this response is still present, on turning his head to one side, he will extend his arms and flex the other and he can't control uh, holding the object by manually. Also, this uh, reflex, if uh, still present, may interfere with some motor functions as rolling. On rolling, the start of rolling, the infant uh, return his head to one side and start to roll. If just turning his head to one side, extensor tone will increase to this side and the flexor tone will increase to this side and this will hinder him from rollover, okay? Also, a crawling. 
crawling just when he crawl like so and when he turn his head to one side the abnormality of tone distribution will hinder him from getting to the quadruped position.